Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Adia Shani and if this is your first time here, thank you for joining and if not, welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about a few fragrances that I have in my collection that I consider sexy. And I'll be talking about how they make me feel, talking about some of the notes in there, and just how sexy they are. So if that's something you're interested in, please stay tuned. Hey, so thank you for staying with me. And be sure to like, comment, and definitely subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it, especially if you like the content. So the first fragrance that I will be discussing is a little sexy fragrance called Poison Girl by Dior. So this one here is a bitter, slightly sweet gourmandish fragrance. This one is dark. This one is sexy. It's kind of kind of sensual as well. It has notes of vanilla and almond and tonka bean. It has bitter orange in here as well. And the almond in this fragrance is just beautiful and delightful. Now this fragrance here, the type of sexy I see this one as, um, is if you're going out to catch a movie with your guy or your girl and you wanna throw on something, you wanna be sexy, but say for instance, you put on a nice clean white blouse and some nice jeans and some heels and a bag and you would throw this one on. I also think of this one as daytime sexy as well. Um, if you just wanna smell sexy, you can pick up this one and throw this one on and I absolutely love this fragrance. It is so beautiful and so yummy and that is Poison Girl Dior. All right, so my next fragrance gives me little black dress. This fragrance here is a very, I think it invokes self-confidence and charm, and it is Lancome La Nuit Trésor. And this fragrance here, oh, it is just so beautiful and so sultry. It's very irresistible, it's charming, it's complex, intoxicating, irresistible, sweet, and glamorous it has notes of pear uh, strawberry incense patchouli praline to name a few it has more notes in there i don't know about the top of my head but um when you wear this fragrance with your little black dress short tight little black dress with some nice black heels you will be impossible to forget um, I love this fragrance. This is definitely sexy. If nothing else is sexy, this is definitely a sexy fragrance. Um, and if you do not have this, girl, you need it. Fragrance is what I like to call erotic, fresh, and seductive. All right. And it is Bun Number Nine Signature Scent. Now, this is a unisex scent. So when I think of this one as being sexy, I think of it as being black tie affair sexy. And then the ladies, of course, you would wear your formal fitted dresses. And this one has oud extract in it. It has musk, um, tonka bean, and rose. And the oud in here is the softer side of oud. So it's not going to be something that is just like too much or too earthy. This one is very, it's a very, very sexy erotic scent. And um, I just think of it as being something that people won't forget you when you wear it. You're gonna definitely get noticed with this fragrance. It is just, I don't even know what else to say about it. This is a very seductive, sexy fragrance. That is all I can say about it. It smells absolutely beautiful and i love it and that is bond number nine signature scent my next fragrance is coco noir by chanel and this one right here is a very crisp and clean scent it is very sexy and it's also sultry and it is also intoxicating and this one has notes of jasmine oh gosh rose white musk patchouli and other notes and when I think of this scent I think of this also as being little black dress sexy but I would wear this um, during the daytime on a day daytime date 
Um, to me, I would throw on a flowy white spaghetti strap dress with some nice sandals, heels, high heel sandals, and I would put on me a nice nude lip or a pink lip or something of that nature and just have the wind blowing my dress with my Coco Noir on. Uh, this one is sexy, it's sultry, it's intoxicating, and it is definitely, definitely a beautiful fragrance. So if you wanna feel sexy during the day or night, I would definitely pick up Coco Noir. It's a very, very timeless, sexy scent. My next fragrance I consider to be another dark and sexy scent, and it is Tom Ford's Noir Perfume, right? And this one, it has notes of um, bitter orange oil, rose absolute, it has vanilla, and it also has amber in it. Um, this one is a warm and spicy gourmand, and the uh, amber in it, along with the woody notes in here, makes it sensual, and then the vanilla in it makes it sweet. And the dry down on this one is beautiful, is sensual, is sexy, is seductive, and it is addictive. Now, this fragrance right here, when I think about wearing this one, I think about wearing this one to a jazz club, or if we want to see a band if we're going to a concert <sighs> you all I miss going places so much but I don't think of this one as like dressing all the way up and being sexy I think of this one as throwing on something nice with a nice pair of nice bad ass heels with a nice matching bag with a beautiful lip and your eyelashes doing this and you throw this baby on and you go out and just have the night of your life and you're smelling good and you're looking good and you're feeling good and I lo I absolutely love this. My next fragrance is one that I consider to be very creamy and sexy and it is Perfumes de Marley Saffronade. Now this one right here has notes of pear, ylang ylang, orange blossom, vanilla and amber and other notes and I consider this one to be a very sweet orange blossom bomb uh, it's a grown woman sweet and sexy you know um, just pretty and sexy and kind of sensual you know um, this one is cocktail dress sexy I would consider this one to be summertime fine sexy <laughs> and I really adore this fragrance um let's see spring or summertime sexy uh would I wear this in the winter I don't know yet because this one is new to my collection so I have not had it during the winter time but I would definitely try this one out because this one is sweet and my husband likes sweet fragrances and so he really likes this fragrance on me so i'm definitely going to try this out in the winter time but uh yeah this one right here is a gorgeous gorgeous creamy sexy fragrance and um yeah it's sweet and nice <laughs> and that's perfumes to molly saffron all right so my next fragrance is one that i absolutely love and it is very 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 sexy a fragrance for me it gives me sex appeal and it is bar number nine new york night this fragrance right here just it just does something to me um, it has notes of jasmine and gardenia, sandalwood, merino cord, coffee, and the caramel in here. The co coffee and caramel in this fragrance is just absolutely beautiful, and it is mouth-watering, and it's a to-die-for fragrance. Oh, it's very sexy, very, very sexy. Like I said, it gives me sex appeal. Um, I think of this one definitely as a, what do they call them? Freakum dresses? I remember Beyonce made a song, Put Your Freakum Dress On. That's what I, <laughs> I think of that song when I uh, wear this scent, because that's exactly what this one, oh gosh, it's so beautiful. This is a beautiful, beautiful, sexy, mouth-watering scent, and yeah, this one is freakum dress. <laughs> put your 
put on your freedom dress, not the a little black dress, not the cocktail dress, and not your formal dress, not your uh, skinny jeans with your cute white tee and your heels. You put on your freakum dress when you wear this. And this is a New York Nights by Bond Number no. 9. And I love it, love it, love it. The caramel and coffee notes in here are absolutely mouth-watering and beautiful. Of course, mixed with the other notes, but I love it. My next fragrance is one that I consider to be fresh, fruity, sexy, with a little bit of depth. And it is Cree's Adventures for her. Now this one has notes of green apple, violet, sandalwood, rose, ylang ylang, um, and other notes. And this one right here is a very sexy fragrance, and I think of it as being a very confident woman wearing this fragrance. Mm. I I get a very poised and radiant woman who leaves an impression on everybody that she comes in contact with. Uh, this one right here, I would wear day or night. Just anytime that I am feeling confident and sexy and radiant and poised, and that is the type of vibe I'm giving off or I want to give off, I'll throw this one on. And I love this fragrance. My last fragrance is one that I consider to be flirty and sexy, and it is Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. And this one opens up very sweet with the white flowers and orange blossom. It has caramel in it. It has vanilla and sugar and marshmallow. This one gives me bubble gum and marshmallows. And it is so sweet and so sexy and just fun and flirty. Now, it's not a childish type of bubblegum marshmallow scent. This one right here is a very sensual and warm kind of scent <laughs> or fragrance. And I think that it's bubblegum and marshmallow heaven. It's just... A beautiful flirty sexy fragrance now um, I think of this one as being warm and sweet and sexy and a very inviting fragrance and this one right here I consider as one of those fragrances that when you smell this one on someone you want to bite them <laughs> it's more of like that like you you want to eat them alive that's the type of fragrance this is and and I don't know, it's just a very, 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 very sweet, sexy scent. And I mean, I mean, if I smell this one on somebody, I would want to lick them. That's how good it smells. And it's a very, very mouth-watering bubblegum and marshmallow sweet fragrance. And I absolutely love this one. I have not worn this one during the summer. I wore this one mostly in the springtime when it was still kind of cool cool and um i enjoyed that this one uh then but um yeah this one is all day sexy as well um i wouldn't really give this one like a day or daytime or nighttime sexy this one right here is day or night or both or all but anyway it is killian's love don't be shy Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my sexy fragrances, and if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you leave my channel. I would really appreciate it, and I will see you on next time. Bye.